Hi everyone, welcome back to Christina Land, a place for grown-up gift givers and adult toy collectors. Today I am so, so, so excited to finally, finally have Abby Bominal in my hands, even though everyone else has already had her and unboxed her, but that's okay. It's, that's what, you know, that's what happens when you live in the area where you live and things just take forever to get to you. But the point is, I finally have her, so I'm going to unbox her today and review her. And, um, she's so pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. And like I said in one of my previous videos, I'm going to see what she looks like without her fanny pack. And I will show that to you because, seriously, no one is doing it. And I'm really curious. So let's find out, shall we? Alright, I'm going to open her up and we will find out what she looks like without her fanny pack. I'll be right back. Okay, before I start, I kept hearing this rattling in the box. I'm like, what's going on? Is it her joints? Are they loose? But it's her shoes. Her shoes are the one that's rattling. Um, she has a lot of loose hair that is coming out. Her hair is super long, almost all the way to her feet, but um, a lot of it is coming out, so that's something to be aware of. Okay, let's look at her, but let's take her fanny pack off first, because, like I said, no one has pictures of her without her fanny pack on. Okay, so here is how she looks without her fanny pack. So she is a very beautiful doll. She is very tall. Um, she is taller than Frankie. It makes sense that uh, Abby would be taller than Frankie because Abby is a Yeti. Abby is about 11 and a half inches tall and Frankie is 11 inches tall. Before I put Abby's shoes on, let's look at them. They're really cool. So the bottoms are this like kind of icy blue translu translucent color. So the purple part like kind of looks like it's furry with some icicles running down on the blue part, but it's, it's plastic. It's just made to look furry. Kind of look like sandals, so that's cool. What's really fun about Abby, since she is a Yeti, is that she has molded plastic fur near her ankles both sides. So she does have these like, I don't know, to me look like disco pants. So they have slits on the side. They flare out at the bottom and they're purple with silver snowflakes all over. She has a white cropped shirt with a purple snowflake and then sheer purple sleeves with some faux fur, purple fur on the bottoms. What I really, really like about Abby is that her teeth are pointed up. So Draculaura's has her teeth pointed down, like her fangs pointed down, but Abby has two teeth pointed and on top, and then purple eyes with a side glance. She does have little horns, which I think is great. I don't think the original Abby had horns. Little plastic horns you can see through her hair. Her hair is purple, blue, silver, with some blue tinsel in it. She has dark purple lips white freckles, some purplish blushing on her nose, purple eyebrows. What's really cool is she has two different earrings. The one on her left ear, to me, makes me think of a Bajoran earring. If you guys have ever seen Star Trek, uh, later seasons of The Next Generation, or Deep Space Nine, which is my favorite Star Trek, and really it's the best Star Trek, just saying. So it's such a cool earring. It goes all the way on her ear, and then down in like a pink icicle. The other one, not all the way on top of her ear, just the pink icicle. And she does have some molded fur on both ears that are a bit pointed. She also comes with this purple, this purple shawl thing, faux fur, that has blue sparkly tinsel in it. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on Abby. I think that looks great on her. Um, just kind of, I don't know, goes with her look. I really like it. I think it just makes her look extra fashionable. Uh, like I really like Claudine's shawl that she comes with. Cause I think it looks great on her. Um, have you guys seen the new leaks, by the way? <laughs> uh, the new reimaginings of Claudine and Draculaura on Instagram? Just like hashtag Monster High or Monster High News or Monster High Leaks or Monster High Dolls. But um, I'm trying to tell myself I don't need multiples of dolls uh, or a Monster High because, um, you know, they're going to keep coming up with more Monster High Dolls and G1, which I really want to get my hands on if possible. Hopefully it will go smoother than last G1's 
releases of their dolls. But, um, ooh, if you've seen the leaks, I think I have to get them. And it's great as Claudine and Jackie Laura look. Oh man, what will Frankie Laguna and Cleo look like? Ah, so. And they're only going to make reimaginings of those five dolls, not any others. Um, anyway, okay. So Abby does come with this plastic fanny pack that is, this, it, I mean, it's really cool. It's like shaped like, kind of like crystals. It's blue, translucent blue, and then a purple keychain with a snowflake, and like icicles looking on the side. So it does look cool. I just, I generally don't like fanny packs. I've kept Laguna's on because, um, Hers is on in the show, and I think it's funny that it has, like, teeth on it. Abby also comes with this pink snowflake backpack, which is nice that you can take it all the way open. So there's not, like, a slit. It opens all the way, so it's easier to put things in and out, kind of like Cleo's backpack. I like it when the backpacks are like that and don't just have a slit in it. She comes with a plastic little rectangular item that says snow corpse, which I think is supposed to mimic the candy snow caps. This adorable chocolate popsicle that has molded R.I.P. on it, a snowflake on the top, and horns. So cute. This cup that has a lid with horns and a straw. That does come off. Oh, there we go. Has eyeballs on the side of the cup. Translucent blue thin sunglasses that have like icicles bottoms of them. Her eye coffin, uh, i.e. a phone, which the holder is like a pink ice cream cone with horns. And then on the other side is a pixelated screen. And finally, Tundra who is so cute, and she is light purple with some white molded on fur on the top, white tusks, white molded fur collar, and a white tail, blue eyes, and then her elephant ears kind of look like bat wings. I'm just gonna see what the sunglasses look like on Abby. For some reason, I don't know if it's maybe because I think I recall seeing pictures from the 70s of like than sunglasses, but the sunglasses, she looks even more like she should be in the 70s, like the 1970s. <laughs> I'll go ahead and take them off because I think she looks better without them. She is so pretty, you guys. If you don't have her already, I highly, highly recommend her. And she is going to be, uh, she is on the one of the last few episodes of Monster High, the series. And new episodes are going to happen soon in October, I think. So that's exciting because I've been waiting for like forever. The last one I think was in March. So a long time to wait. It's not even finished the first season yet. And it's just for whatever reason they held her episodes till now. But she is so pretty. I love her so much. And here is again what she looks like without her fanny pack. Which I'm not going to have because I don't think it's necessary. Um, oh, she's so pretty. Oh, I love her so much. She's even more pretty in person. Like, I've seen the stock photos on Amazon trying to get her. <laughs> I think now you can get her on Amazon. But um, I wasn't entirely sure. I wasn't entirely sure. But seeing her in person, oh my goodness, just cements how gorgeous she is. And uh, I don't know what kind of hair her hair is. It feels okay to me. Maybe a little dry. So I don't know what type of hair it is. Probably not Saran. I think Saran is softer than this, and because it has the tinsel, I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know hair types, but um, oh yeah, she does have the normal articulation to the left, to the right, up and down. Um, she can tilt. Let's see, does she have a? Okay, she does have the chest. She does have the chest articulation, then elbows or shoulders, elbows. Hips, knees, so the normal Monster High articulation. And she's so pretty. Oh my goodness, she's just so pretty. So that will be it for this video. Please, uh, oh, I didn't even say to subscribe and all that jazz in my other video. Oh, well, that's okay. Anyway, please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe for more videos. And share with your friends if they would be interested in Abby or Monster High dolls in general. I really like them. They're just so pretty and they're fun imaginings of monsters. It's great. And I will see you in the next video. And remember, it's okay to like what you like, be who you are, 
and stay young at heart. Bye!